limping. Hello, fancy seeing you. Hello, horsey. What a lovely surprise. Someone to speak to. Hey? Lovely little horse hair, look. Oh, aren't you pretty? Brown and blonde. Owly Woods in the camping area. Oh, and there's a pussycat as well. Hello. Hello. I'll just put my camera there. I'll just take a picture of you. What are you doing then? You coming over? Yeah. I bet you see a lot of people. Oh, there's a pussycat as well. Hello. Hello. Before you take it. Oh. oh, hello then. How are you doing? Oh, I'm out of breath, I am. There's another cat there, they're watching for creatures to come in the wood, aren't they? Look, see, there's one up there sitting waiting. Two little cats, look. One sat there patiently waiting for some dinner. Look. This horse don't want to come and say hello. There's two little Shetlands up there, look. Hey, do you want to speak? Never mind. There's no panic. Eat all. See, there's a way up through the wood there. Which you've probably got time to do. But you might not have, you might think you have, and then suddenly you think, oh my god, time, Sheila, I'll say. Look, that's nice, isn't it? Some little seat for somebody to sit on, look. Just right for me, yeah? Look, isn't that lovely? Will it collapse? Oh, that's really good. Someone's put a sign up there, new one. I've got to turn off for a minute. So there's a nice little bench. Somebody's thoughtful, aren't they? I just want to go up to the signpost because I can see an owl on the top. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Look at that little owl. Sunset seat. Summit wood. Back bench cheddar gorge cheddar cheese caves and beer and what's that West Mendit way yeah it hasn't got anything has it got anything pointing that way oh yeah that's the wood yeah that's right I've been up there before I'm going to go and sit back down on the bench and uh, see what the time is. Right then, I've had to put the little lead on the battery to charge up the the uh, phone. Not the phone, the um, camera. So I've left, what I've done, just left it charging for a minute. Did take a couple of photos, but it doesn't want to do video. So if I put the little lead on, the original lead has gone on. And uh, we've left little Bradley now down there. Um, I decided not to go for a walk in the wood because I think before I knew it time would go. And even though I've got a rough idea where it comes out I think I'll leave that for another time. I have done it before. I think I just really want to wander along here and uh, take my time. My zip's gone again to the third time. 
<coughs> I've managed to, it's not broken, but it's just not engaging properly. It keeps busting open. So, what I'll probably do is, um, I've, I've got it done up with the Velcro at the moment. That's keeping it shut. So I don't get cold or anything. It will zip up again. It'll be enough to get me home in that. But I'm just letting the camera, which is having a real good boost, the Kodak, it's having a good old charge at the moment. And we can look at uh, Brent Knoll and the Axbridge Reservoir. Like I say, I haven't done this for a while, and you can walk up in those woods up there, look. I can see people up there. There's a path up there. I've done all that before. You can walk along here and then go up there. That's where a couple of the little boy is at the moment. Um, but like I said, I've not, done, I've not done it today because I haven't done this for a while, this one. And uh, I'm just going to take my time, to be quite honest. Because it'll still take me a good hour. It'll be half past three by the time I get into Cheddar. It'll take me a good hour just walking at this slow pace. And there's a lot old lime kiln up here in a minute. Mind you, the only problem is it's very muddy. <sighs> what was perhaps frozen earlier is uh, it's frozen on this bit where the sun don't get. Yeah, I remember it's quite a wide path up there. It's quite a nice walk up there actually. Cheddar's got a little area where it can go and walk. It's been a really good day though. Um, it's been a really good day. And there's another good day tomorrow, so I won't be wasting tomorrow, but I won't be coming out here tomorrow. Um, it's tempting whether to do a row barrow walk. Um, but it's more likely I'll do a sand bay tomorrow. Because it's... Uh, midweek, well it'll be Friday tomorrow and uh, I can perhaps do a, a really good walk all around it but not not go out to about half ten I think I'd go out about half ten, not half eleven so I'd get the best of the sunshine yeah, I think I'd go out a bit earlier get the half past ten bus just gives me a little bit more time in the morning do when I get to the lime kiln I'll try and I'll unplug I'll see if it'll work on the little lead the Kodak and then I'll if it doesn't I'll, it, it will work without the lead plugged in seems to be retaliating against working when the leads in which it never used to it used to be able to do that easily so then anyway, we've got more views coming up of our beautiful Crooks Peak and the Mendip Hills Shoot Shelf Hill all areas I know really well. All this and through there in the far distance, I'll see if I can zoom in, is Glastonbury. Poking up at, up the top there. Don't know if we'll be able to see it on this camera or not. Um, there it is. That's Glastonbury, look. Won't come out very clear. But it's there following us. following us. I've got to do that. That's on my, that's on my list actually, Glastonbury, because I didn't get round to it last year. That's a bus, that's a train and a bus journey. I might be able to do that sooner than I think actually. I've got to work out the buses. Work out the buses first. Yeah, 
God, it's gorgeous. That sunshine, this is what makes, I know it's very, very cold. The sunshine is actually like a little hot water bottle with you as you go along. Like a little hot water bottle. That's interesting. Where did he come out then? They must have come out here from up there. He went up the wood. Mm, something you learn every day. So I could have done a little circuit around there then. Bloke with a blue top on's just come out. Maybe it's just a path that's just been made. That's interesting. Because it's somewhere around here. I used to walk another path that I used to do. Don't know where though. I think it was near the... Yeah, look, there's a path up there. I don't know if that was always there, you know. I don't know if that was always there. Go up and have a look. You've got time. Now, he was behind the people with the child. We just go up and have a look. Sandy snow, isn't it? This is just a little extra. Oh, my legs are feeling it today. That's why I won't do a lot tomorrow. No, I won't do a lot tomorrow. I think this is a new path. I can't remember seeing this way up before. Yeah, I've seen people walking earlier. I have been here before, but I can't remember this path here that I've just come up. Let's read this sign. Oh. I think this path's like go right round, actually. For your own safety, please keep to the maintain footpath as marked while visiting the nature reserve. There's been a lot of ash dye back here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what they're cutting down then. Oh, the ash dye back, look. But there's another path up there. That's the path you probably go on to go right round the wood. That one over there. So I've got time to, for a little bit of manoeuvring, just to... <sighs> oh, no. oh, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> there is a path, I know. Could be up further. I'm not going any further, by the way. <sighs> That's interesting. Turn off video for a little while, folks. Come back on again in a minute.